Hey peoples, welcome to Micros Greens and Seeding Station 2.0. I didn't like the wire shells on the wall, so I can't try and go back and get the whole thing in the picture, but not working. But so I went and grabbed the uh, wood. Today is the day that I probably should have just stayed in bed because everything has just gone wonkers today and yesterday. I mean, I started getting the wood, and I changed my mind. So I went back and got the wood last night. I was going to use a 2x2. Um, two two. I was going to use a 2x2 two two for supports. didn't work, so I had to go back and get the 2x3 to work as the supports. Um, even the shipping today, I was doing decals, and I messed up almost every decal today. So it was just a rough day. But I finally got this up. Uh, as far as I can today, um, because I switched to two by three, I have the wood over there, so I can put up one more shelf up here. I don't know if I need it; I can't really reach up there. But if I decide to put lights on all levels, then maybe I sh can, or maybe I will. Anyways, what I did is um, what I was going to do, and I, I'm scared to show you because it's a little bit of messy in here. But the wire shelves I have left over. I was going to cut those down in pieces to go across here, not here, but go across here and on the bottom shelf. But the little bolt cutters I bought either aren't up to the task or I'm not up to the task squeezing them. It could be both. But uh, so I might have to cut it with the saw tomorrow or just go get a piece of, uh, uh, I don't know, it wouldn't work because I now that I remember this is. 46 inches. That's less than 48, so it would work. Uh, so, yeah, I might just go get um, pre cut 2x4 pieces of hardboard to put up here and here instead of the wire shelf and get one and put up here temporarily. Because what I'm doing is I built this around this, um, it's a Botan Care 2x4, uh, basically an ebb flow tray. And what I'm going to do is it's it's in there nice and snug, and that's what this one's up here for too. So I can have two levels of a flood and drain tray. And then they have the little indentation here so I can put my drain here. And I'll have to figure out still how I'm going to put my uh, feed. I might, I might have the, I mean the feed is meant to come over here um, to the bottom. And I may just go ahead and do that. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, and then I can put the other one up here so I can have the feed come up to the top one up here and drain down into this one or however I want to do it. Um, I might have it feed both. But that way I can have, when I do these, I still need to clean up. All right, I don't want to dip this over. It's got fresh water in there, but when I have these in there, like they're supposed to go that way, um, yeah, so I can flood it twice a day so everything gets water and now I'm looking at this <coughs> I'm wondering if this is enough light maybe I should get a third light in here like I said nothing's gone right today um, when I put I originally was planning to put eye hooks here you can see right here and then use the originally hanging bracket but that hang, hung them down way too low to the plants so, I loosened up the brackets here, and I screwed them directly into the sides there. Nice. And when I didn't, that's the spacing I wanted. I figured that'd be enough space, and that might just be enough. I'll have to wait and see. But, when I did that, I went to go plug in the jumper between the two lights. And, of course, it was short. So, that pissed me off. So, rather than putting these closer... Because, I mean, if you're going to put them closer, I might as well do get a third one. But um, I ordered another jumper on Amazon a couple minutes ago. That was uh, four feet. I mean, that's a little more than I need. But, and then if I like it, I can jumper the next row up to it. So it can all be on one cord. But I'm not sure. I might want to keep the two shelves separate. Because what I'm doing is... You can see the little doohickey right there. That's a iDevice 
um, home kit, Apple home kit. Eh, it's not focusing on it. And it's kind of dark. There we go. It's an Apple iDevice home kit. And so it's con it can, it's controlled through Apple, Siri. So I can say, hey Siri, shut off Michael Greens. It's not listening to me, thank God, because otherwise I would have done it. But, and then I also set up a schedule through the uh, home kit app. So it turns off in the morning at 8 o'clock and shuts off at 8 o'clock at night right now. I'm going to do the same thing with a pump. I'm going to set up a, a five-minute run twice a day to uh, flood the tray. Uh, once I get that, I'll say, I already got the pump. I already got the reservoir. The reservoir will fit just underneath here. It's uh, one of those big black and yellow totes you see at Home Depot and Lowe's. So, and then I'll, you know, come up here, feed this. I don't know, I'll bring the pipe, make it nice and neat. This shelf was going to be for basically stack, I'll put in my stacked trays because it'll probably be the darkest space. And I might even make it darker by putting black, um, uh, what do you call it? It's corrugated plastic. It comes in white and black at Home Depot. Put black on the inside of here. So this is dark space to, for the trays. And, or I can put them up here. And then I was going to put white corrugated plastic around in here and down here to brighten that space up. But I, you know, not measuring everything. I, this sticking out provides a little bit of a hiccup for that. So I got these lights. I, I'm bouncing around. I apologize for that. But um, I got these lights at the hydro store. It was actually cheaper than you can buy. These are both single tube lights, T5s, high output. And you can buy one that has two bulbs in it. But for some reason, it was it was cheaper to buy two singles. Um, these were 52 a piece. And I know that's a lot to pay for a light when you can just get the fluorescent from Home Depot. But I, I don't know. I wanted to go this route. But uh, a two tube one. It was like 112 or 120 bucks so maybe i should just go for a, a four tuber on each of these i don't know i might i might look at that i mean i have all the parts maybe they'll take these two back and i can get some uh two four tubers i forgot how much those were but anyway i don't want to ramble on about everything that's my ideas and my plans for this when it's it's done i'm going to slide it over here a little bit more I still have some old IKEA wood shelving that I'm probably going to put together. And I can make these into a place to stack, I'll put the stack trays while they're germinating if I wanted to and just put supplies underneath there. Or I might just use that for supply shelving. I don't know. I can just totally get rid of this wire crap. You know, I, I have so much stuff. You know, I change my mind so often. Oh, um, one more thing. I was trying to think of a fan in here because my original plan was to put a 20 inch, that 20 inch fan in the space here. And that just uh, raised the shelf up too high. And this gives me more room. But I had these, you know, one day um, sourcing for eBay sales. I bought a crap load of, of these fans of all different sizes. Hundreds, I'm still selling them. Hundreds of them. But this is, a, I found this, a box of these that these have not sold too well. I might want to check with eBay and make sure they're still listed. But they're 24 volt, so I might pick up a 24 volt power supply and then get these attached. Oops, get these attached, get two for each row, or maybe three, get them in between the lights, depending on how I get the lights set up. Maybe attach them to the side here. I don't know. And then see how they work because that fan is actually sorry folks i hit the button with my finger but as i was saying that fan even in the low setting might be too much airflow so i want to see how powerful these things are on a 24 volt power supply and and i don't know put it in the back somehow but i have a dozen or so of these so I want to see if these things will work. So anyway, I'm rambling on. This is probably a 20 minute video now. So, uh, and by sides, I'll end it. That's my first microgreens. It's going to be harvested tonight or probably tomorrow. 
I'm get pulling some of the seed holes off. It's radish. That's this radish. I I I, I haven't published the video. I, I took my video of me planting it. And that's just radish, a bunch of packages as I bought at Home Depot. I have a bunch of seeds on order. It's supposed to be in here tomorrow from True Leaf. So a bunch of bulk packages, one pound and five pound bags. So we're going to get going here once I get this set up. And I'm going to stagger planting so almost every day I should have fresh greens to uh, put in the smoothies and sandwiches and whatever. So... Wink, that one got a little big. Not bad. Oh, it's got a kind of radishy taste too. Imagine that. Anyway, that's it for this video on microgreens. We will talk to you guys later.